So now, we want to compute base shear and story forces. Right? So from what we did before, we've got our period equals the minimum of T1 and CUTA. Now I think the period changed a little bit, right? The one that we got from this model versus the one that I had from before. So let's use the updated number. So RT1 is 1.74 seconds. Well, actually, hold on. Let me let me reevaluate here. No, let's not use the updated number because I have all the answers for the uh, number I had before. So let's use 1.62. So let's assume this is equal to 1.62 seconds instead of 1.72 seconds. All right, just so the numbers will be right with the rest of my notes. And there's multiple reasons why the periods might be a little bit different. Um, I think when I did mine, I didn't put the mass out of plane and there's little things like that that you can do that'll actually change the answers a little bit. You hope they don't change the answers too much to actually affect your numbers. Okay, so our CUTA from last time was 0 .18, or 0 0.81 seconds. So if we take the minimum of those two, right, then the code requires us to use the 0.81 seconds in order to calculate our story forces and all those things, base year, all that stuff. Okay, so if we do that, we'll get our CS value to be 0 0.092 Gs, which is what we got before, right, in the last example that we did. Okay, so if we want to now calculate story forces, right, which this is just going from what we did before, Four, three, no. story five, four, three, and two. I think these should be consistent with the notes from last time. The top force is 187.3 kips. Second one down, 134.3 kips. Next one down, 84.1 kips. And next one down, 37. 0.7 kips. So now let's apply the forces to the model. Okay, so we've got the forces we need to apply. So if we want to make changes, right, we go up here and hit unlock. So unlock it. Sounds good. So when you unlock it, it deletes all the analysis results because now I can make changes and the analysis results aren't valid anymore. 